If you ain't got a good tongue scraper, y'all get one. All right, y'all, we're about to get into my oral routine. I don't know if yesterday my video recorded because I was doing my oral routine and I was telling y'all my phone was tripping. But as I was saying, child, it's 2022. Go ahead and get you, get you the yellow Listerine. This one, it's so good, y'all. It's so important to have good oral hygiene. I use the normal pick until I get, until I invest in the water pick, but right now I'm using this one. But y'all, it's, it's so good. So Listerine, oral pick, a good tongue scraper. If you ain't got a good tongue scraper, y'all get one. This thing will get you right. I've been using it more consistently. And when I use it consistently, major difference in my breath. Major difference. I just got back from the gym. I ate. I'm going to shower after I do my oral care and a good toothbrush. I used to have an electric toothbrush. I really love that thing. I need to get it back. You can find some good and expensive ones. But yeah, y'all. I like to first rinse my mouth with water. I like to rinse my mouth with water. Can't be out here with with uh and with the with an ashy lip. But yeah, y'all, it's so important. Like it's 2022, and there's just some things that you would think is common knowledge. You would think it's common knowledge that everybody knows how to do, but what I'm finding out is not common knowledge, and everybody don't know how to do it. So it's the burden on me to try to show showcase some things as women that we should be doing. Oral care is one because listen, listen, y'all listening to me? Can y'all see me? Because when I get a man, I can't be out here caught with bad breath. No, ma'am. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. <laughs> Make sure you get deep up in that throat, girl. You get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, but oral hygiene is so important. You would think that by this point that people know to have good oral hygiene, but no. I have a friend that works in the dental oral sector. And she's like, even if you don't floss every day, if you floss at least three times a week, that is good. Like minimum, minimum three times a week, at least once a, one, once a day. Because she's like, they can tell when folks come in and they just started flossing before the appointment. And they can tell when people have been flossing during the six months in between each dental appointment. So y'all ain't fooling nobody. We ain't not fooling nobody. That used to be me. I would try to floss. I would floss before my appointment. <laughs> but now, man, the older I've gotten, the more I'm like, oh no, we need to... I need to step it up. Ooh. You know, when you floss and there's actually food stuck between the teeth and you get it, it's like, whoa, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, y'all, so we need to be better myself included. And when you use the Listerine, it's best to use your mouthwash before you brush your teeth so it can get as much germs out. And then when you go into brush, you brush more germs off instead of doing it after. Not as helpful as I've heard. If you do it after, do it before because that's like the most optimal 
hard, most optimal point that you should do it during your oral care. Because my whole thing is, I'm like, okay, so if you if you brush your teeth, you do everything after, and then you you brush your teeth, you, you floss, and then you use Listerine, then is that just swishing all the germs back in your mouth? So then you defeat the point of brushing the germs off? Food for thought. What y'all think? But yeah, y'all, we can be out here getting caught. With bad breath, it's like, mm -mm, we can't. You can't. You can get you a dollar toothbrush from the dollar store. They sell 125 mouthwash. You can stick, stick within your budget. You can stick between your budget. They have floss, 125 because the dollar store ain't a dollar no more. It's crazy. I already feel fresh, guys. Oh. Yes, ma'am. And then for kicks and giggles, I um I use my wash again after I floss and then I go in with my you know what? Not even that. I'm gonna go in with my scraper and then I'm gonna rinse with my mouthwash one more time before I brush. Y'all, this thing is so good. When I tell you I have noticed such a considerable difference in my breath since using a ton scraper. Y'all, oh my goodness, yes. It's so good. Don't be afraid to get up in there. Don't be afraid to really scrape because you're scraping. It's like, who is that uses to scraping your sins away? Man, scrape it. Not, not too harsh to make yourself bleed, but y'all, the tongue is actually very durable. You'd be surprised how much you can scrape off without it harming, but y'all, if you want your breath to really be smelling good, get your tongue scraper. All those the germs are really back there and then you just scrape it off. It's just so, so satisfying. When I'm scraping my tongue, I go in, I go in sections. So I really focus on the back and scrape it down. Then I focus on the middle, scrape it down. Then I focus on like the tip, scrape it down. And then I do one scrape of the whole thing. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet and my teeth already feel so fresh. One more rinse of Listerine. Y'all. The yellow Listerine just hits different. It just hits different. I've tried other Listerines. I've tried green ones. I've tried blue ones. The blue one is my least favorite. It's just, it. I don't know. It just, I don't know if it's, if it's a fit. It, it could just be me, but it could, it leaves like a film or it gets, when I use it, like white stuff, my be my like white stuff. I don't know if it's my gums coming out. I don't know. Like white residue comes out. It, I don't think it's germs, but it literally feels like white, like lips. Like the skin is coming off. It's very weird. I don't like it. It's my absolute least favorite listerine. I don't recommend it. This one, it does, it leaves, it does a trick. It leaves my breath fresh. I'm using my Hello. It leaves my breath fresh, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Nothing like a fresh. Mouth man, this is my professional mouth, y'all. Mm. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all saw my tongue? Look how look how clear it is, y'all. Get you some listerine. Get 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 you get get you a scraper. You can clean these things with alcohol. I don't know how often I'm supposed to clean them, but I wipe it down with alcohol. Might as well, I think I'm gonna wipe it down right now. But yeah, y'all. I eventually wanna get my teeth whitened. My teeth feel so smooth, so clean. It is so important as ladies to have good oral care. That's all I'm saying. We gotta have good oral care, y'all. Mm, praise the Lord. Now I'm wiping it down with alcohol and then I'm gonna rinse it with, with water afterwards. Yeah. Just gotta be clean. Gosh, like I feel like being clean has to be explicitly taught because I've walked into some very unclean households. 
over the course of my life with people that I thought were clean, but then you go to the house and it's not. You should really wanna know if somebody's clean, go into the bathroom and you'll know. But then also, everybody has their own, everybody has their own version of what clean is. And my definition of clean will not be somebody else's definition of clean. Um, excuse me if I have sleep with my eyes. I literally just rolled out of bed about to go to the gym. But I want to say that if you do my oral routine, y'all, you Listerine at least twice in between. Use a tongue scraper. Brush it real good for at least two minutes. Touch your tongue, but brush your teeth for at least two minutes. Tongue scraper. Brush your tongue real good. Y'all, you will wake up and your breath won't even stink. I kid you not, my breath does not even stink. I wish I was lying to y'all popping out, but like, wow. Having a good oral hygiene, psh, it changes the game, baby. It changes the game. I'm just saying, girl, my, my breath, baby, is fresh. That's amazing.